What about making your sound better? Hey, what is up, guys? My name is Alan Tukmoj Chef, and in this lesson, we're going to be checking out some layers. Now, honestly, in nowadays music, you can have a full sounding track with minimal amount of layers. You can literally have like two to three sounds, sometimes even one sound. If you know how to properly mix it, compress it, stuff like that. But today, we're going to be kind of exploring this EDM layer type of structure. Now, what I have in front of you guys here is actually a little kind of chord lead bass sequence here. And I'm going to be breaking down this layer structure for you guys. And hopefully that's going to kind of open your eyes and let you understand how layers work and what type of sounds to use and how many type of sounds to use with the same exact uh, chord progression, lead progressions, bass progressions, whatever. So let's take a quick listen here before we dive into this tutorial and then I'm gonna kind of uh, further on explain you what's what did I do here? Okay, so right here I have this kind of typical-ish type of layer structure where we have two to three chord layers. You got one lead layer right there. And we got two base layers. Now let me kind of break it down to you. So first of all, we have this simple lead layer. And by the way, all of these presets are from W Productions. You can check it out on the website and all of these sounds are gonna be coming out from silent. So check that out guys. Now we got this sound here. And that is layered with three chord layers. So we got a simple kind of ambient pluck. We got another pluck, just kind of the same thing, only it's less ambient, it's more punchy. And the main thing in this progression is this huge synth here. That is kind of the basic layer setup I have here. I got one main lead, which is kind of in the background. It's not the main, you know, uh, sound of the whole progression. And then we got three layers of chords. Now, the reason why I liked to have three layers of chords here is because I would kind of make this progression into an actual song, you know, incorporate it in an actual song. This would be like, I don't know, the, the bridge part or something or the part before the drop, you know, so that's why I want more sounds in there. Of course, what I can do is I can have, you know, like these sounds only playing, for example. And that could be used in, for example, the intro. But for this example, I kind of, you know, made it in a way where this part, if I would use it in a song, would be like, you know, before the drop or the bridge or something like that. So that's pretty much the main layers here. And then we got just two bass layers. And of course, can't miss out on the sub. We have a little sub here as well. And both of them sound. You can see if I remove the sub, it sounds much more emptier. So never forget about the sub. Now, often in EDM music, a lot of producers miss out on the sub. I get demos all the time, and uh, this is one of the main problems they usually have. The drop sounds too empty, and then they're asking me, like, why? What is the reason? I have plenty of sounds layered, but it just sounds too empty. Well, the sub bass is one of the reasons. So, for example, if you have some sort of really hard bass, 
don't forget to have a little sub in the background there as well to just kind of fill in the atmosphere. So that's kind of the basics of layering right there. Now, how could this help you out in your own project file? Next time when you make a track, just know that you don't really need to have like 20 layers of sounds. You can just have one or two sounds as we can see right here. Or maybe just add in the sub bass as well. I also want to show you this kind of fun function FL Studio has. Uh, you can go to the add section here and uh, you can just go to misc and click layer. Now when you just when now when you just bring this up, it doesn't really seem like a lot, you know, it doesn't play any sounds, nothing is really happening. But actually this tool is super, super powerful. What you can do is now put copy this chord progression, put it here. You know, it still won't play a sound, but hold up. And this kind of a layer can actually stack all of your synths together. You wanna to have so many different piano rolls occupied. You wanna have just one, for example. So you can go here, um, we can select, for example, these two chord progressions, and we'll select the layer right here. Okay, we'll just click set children. And now if we play it, Now it's triggering these both synths at the same time. And that really kind of saves up a lot of space, so to speak, or if you want to have your project file really tidy, this is a really cool thing. And I also use this type of uh, technique with kick drums, for example. So what I can do is I can drag in, let's say two kicks. you know, something like that. And I don't wanna really have these layered like that. I wanna just have kind of one towel like that, you know, so it just looks nice and clean. Because sometimes you layer a bunch of kicks together and it just looks not good, you know. Think about if you have like too many kicks layered like that, it just looks really occupied. But what you can do with layers is, again, you can just kind of select them all with by right-clicking, set children, and now if we play this, it's triggering both kicks at the same time. So there you go, that's kind of the basics of layering. Hopefully you found something really helpful. And yeah guys, see you in the next one. Peace.